Hello and welcome. In today's video, we embark on a fascinating journey, uncovering the story behind the Tower of Babel. We delve into the historical and biblical significance of this legendary structure. Discover the intriguing events that led to the tower's construction and its ultimate downfall. We'll explore the mythologies and theories of this iconic landmark. If you're curious about ancient history and religious narratives, this is a video not to miss. Don't forget to like and share this video to spread the knowledge. Have you ever wondered about the Tower of Babel, the legendary structure that was said to reach the heavens? Picture an edifice so grand, so towering, it was believed to touch the very sky itself. This is the tale of the Tower of Babel, a story steeped in mystery and intrigue. For centuries this enigmatic structure has captivated the minds of historians, scholars, and dreamers alike. It's more than just a tower, it's a symbol, a testament to human ambition and ingenuity. It's a cultural touchstone that has echoed through the ages, finding its way into art, literature, and countless cultural expressions. The Tower of Babel holds a unique place in our collective history. It transcends borders and cultures, touching on themes of unity, ambition, and the consequences of reaching too high. It's a tale as old as time, yet as relevant today as it was thousands of years ago. Join us as we unravel the enigmatic tale of the Tower of Babel. Our journey begins in ancient Mesopotamia, where the story of the Tower of Babel is first told. This land, known as the Cradle of Civilization, was nestled between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, in what is now modern-day Iraq. It was home to the Sumerians, Akkadians, Babylonians, and Assyrians, civilizations that have left a profound mark on human history. It was here that the first cities were born, and with them, the first great architectural feats of mankind. Among these was the famed Tower of Babel. Its story is etched in the annals of history and mythology, most notably in the Old Testament of the Bible, where it is described as a tower with its top in the heavens. The exact location of the Tower of Babel remains a mystery, but it is believed to have been in Babylon, a city renowned for its splendor and grandeur. Babylon was the heart of Mesopotamia, a city of gold bricks and the dreams of men who dared to reach for the stars. Now let's delve a bit into the historical context. The story of the Tower of Babel is believed to have been written during the Babylonian exile of the Hebrews in the 6th century BC. This was a time when the Hebrews were held captive in Babylon, away from their homeland. The story could have been a way to express their feelings of cultural and linguistic dislocation. The Tower of Babel also appears in other ancient texts, such as the Sumerian King List and the work of Greek historian Herodotus. These accounts describe it as a ziggurat, a type of stepped pyramid common in Mesopotamian architecture. These structures were believed to be bridges between heaven and earth, a testament to the spiritual beliefs of the time. And so, the stage was set for the construction of this ambitious tower. A tower that was to become a symbol of human ambition, unity, and ultimately, the divine retribution that befell those who dared to challenge the heavens. The residents of Babel, united in language and purpose, embarked on an ambitious project. Their vision was grand, their ambition boundless. They set their sights not on the earth but on the heavens, and with a singular steadfast determination, they began to build. The Tower of Babel was not to be just any tower, it was to be a monument to human achievement, a testament to the power of unity and collaboration. From the fertile soil of the land, they fashioned bricks, and with bitumen, they made mortar. With these simple materials, they began to construct what they believed would be their stairway to the heavens. Day by day, the tower grew. It was a sight to behold, a towering edifice that seemed to defy the very laws of nature. The people of Babel worked tirelessly, their hands shaping each brick, their sweat mixing with the mortar. Their unity was their strength, their shared language their bond. They worked as one, their hearts beating with a shared rhythm, their voices rising in a unified chant that echoed across the land. Their goal was not just to build a tower, but to make a name for themselves. They wanted to be remembered, to leave a mark that would stand the test of time. They dreamt of a tower so high that it would reach the heavens, a tower so magnificent that it would be a beacon for all of humanity. In the face of such an audacious undertaking, the people of Babel were undeterred. They believed in their vision, in their collective strength. Every brick they laid, every layer they added was a testament to their unwavering resolve. They were not just building a tower, they were building a symbol of their indomitable spirit, their unyielding determination. Little did they know, their grand project was about to take an unexpected turn. Their tower, 
their monument to unity and ambition, was about to face a challenge that would change the course of their history, and indeed, the history of the entire world. The heavens took notice of the humans' audacious endeavor. The great tower of Babel, reaching towards the heavens could not go unnoticed by the divine. The audacity of humans, who dared to construct a tower that might reach the realm of the divine, was met with an unforeseen response. As the story goes the divine powers decided to intervene, they saw the unity of the human race, their single language and shared ambition, as a potential threat. If humans could achieve such feats while united, what could stop them from challenging the divine? The solution was simple yet effective. The divine decided to introduce confusion to their unity. In a dramatic turn of events the humans woke up one day to find their once universal language splintered into myriad tongues. Suddenly, the once harmonious construction site turned into a cacophony of confusion and misunderstanding. The workers could no longer understand each other, the cries of, pass me a brick were met with blank stares, the requests for mortar were answered with shrugs. As you can imagine the construction of the tower came to a grinding halt. The unity that had been their strength became their downfall. Unable to communicate they could no longer work together. This divine intervention, this confusion of languages, led to the scattering of people. The once united human race was dispersed across the face of the earth, each group carrying with them a different tongue, a different piece of the once universal language. This scattering marked the end of the ambitious project. The unfinished Tower of Babel stood as a stark reminder of the audacious endeavor, the divine intervention, and the consequences of overreaching ambition. Thus the Tower of Babel became a symbol of human ambition and divine wrath. It serves as a timeless reminder that human ambition, while a powerful force, must be tempered with humility and respect for the divine. For when we overreach, when we challenge the divine, we might just find ourselves facing a divine intervention. The story of the Tower of Babel has left an enduring legacy. Just as its towering heights sought to reach the heavens, the tale of this audacious monument has permeated the fabric of human history, leaving its indelible mark on various aspects of our lives. One cannot deny the profound influence the story has had on our understanding of language. The Tower of Babel has often been cited as the birthplace of language diversity, the point where a single universal language fragmented into the myriad of tongues we have today. This narrative has fueled countless debates and research in linguistics, etymology, and anthropology, providing a mythical origin to our linguistic differences. Beyond language the Tower of Babel has also impacted our cultural narratives, it has served as a cautionary tale against hubris and the pursuit of unreachable heights. From literature to religion the story has been retold, reshaped and reinterpreted, each time offering a new perspective on the limits of human ambition and the consequences of defying the divine. Moreover the story's influence extends to the world of art. The tower with its spiraling heights and diverse crowd, has been a favorite subject for many artists throughout history. From the Renaissance master Peter Bruegel the Elder to modern digital artists, the scene of the tower's construction and subsequent confusion has been captured in countless renderings, each depicting the narrative in their unique style. In the realm of architecture the story has inspired design principles and aesthetics. The idea of a structure attempting to touch the divine has led to the creation of towering cathedrals, skyscrapers and monuments all aiming to capture a bit of the awe and wonder that the original Tower of Babel must have inspired. The Tower of Babel, a monument to human ambition and divine intervention, continues to captivate us. Its legacy, rich and far-reaching, serves as a constant reminder of our collective past, our endless pursuit of knowledge, and the timeless allure of a good story. So, what have we learned about the Tower of Babel? We've unraveled the enigma of the tower, its origins deeply rooted in ancient Babylonian culture. We've explored its construction, a monumental feat of human engineering that aimed to reach the heavens, a testament to the sheer audacity of human ambition. We delved into the moment of divine intervention where according to biblical accounts, God confounded the languages of the builders, halting the construction and scattering humanity across the world. This event marked the inception of different languages and cultures, a turning point in human history. Finally, we examined the legacy of the tower. Despite its unfinished state, it has left an indelible mark on human consciousness, symbolizing both our limitless potential and the inherent risks of overreaching our bounds. The Tower of Babel remains one of history's greatest mysteries, 
a testament to the power of human ambition and the consequences of challenging the divine.